Uh, you don't have a lot of information. Um, it's just a very strange mystery right now of how these dogs ended up in that house. All new tonight at six, county officials are looking for answers after more than a dozen dogs were found inside a vacant home just outside of Grand Rapids. Now they're in the care of the Kent County Animal Shelter. Yeah, it still breaks your heart though. Our Lauren Coomer joins us live in the studio to start us off this hour. Uh, excuse me, after learning more about uh, what they found, Lauren. Yeah, that's right, Doug Janice. These 14 toy poodles were found living in a vacant home in Solon Township, just northwest of Cedar Springs. While they did have some food, the Animal Shelters Division Director tells me they were without water, and it's unknown how often someone came by to check on them. It appeared that there was they were receiving a care on some level. Um, it wasn't what we would consider adequate, but there was somebody, you know, even periodically going there and providing some sort of care. <laughs> matted hair, long nails, and malnourished. That's how the 14 dogs looked coming into the Kent County Animal Shelter. We received a call uh, December 19th that there was a abandoned house that contained uh, quite a few dogs. Um, when the animal control officers arrived on scene, it was very clear that they were toy poodles. And the animal shelter saying it's unclear what the original owner's intentions were or what happened. At one point, they were very much somebody's pets and very much loved by somebody. We don't know the circumstance of how they ended up where they are, um, but they are they're very friendly. The property owner telling officials the home had been vacated for about one to two years and there was nobody who was supposed to be living there. A lot of times these situations tend to go hand in hand with hoarding, which is very much a mental um, a mental issue. So, you know, if you know somebody who is going through a situation like this where they have a large number of animals and they cannot provide care either physically or financially, we really want to encourage the residents to speak up and say something. The dogs are currently being evaluated behaviorally and medically and will be put up for adoption as they're vetted and determined healthy. We do know now they are receiving the best of care and they all have bright futures ahead of them. So that's something we can be happy for. The Kent County Animal Shelter says they deal with hoarding situations around once a month. They're currently investigating two other situations, one in Lowell where they found around 30 cats in an abandoned home and another at a home in Grand Rapids with about 15 to 30 cats. Reporting live in studio, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News.